good morning, it was good to see everybody. you guys and so that means you already know this. Yep. We think that, that he is actually a Novak member, but he's just an honorary member. He's been <coughs> a fixture at AHSP for the last three years uh, as a speaker and also as a, the hands-on office rep. And so if you need anything, he's the only place to go. <laughs> while you're here. Buy everything so I can come back next year. There you go. Uh, actually, Skip hails from the Westminster Astronomical League Society, where he is the outreach director and the Skynet director. Uh, he's also, I would have to say, the uh, outreach uh, coordinator extraordinary. That's what he does. He's an educator and a teacher um, on astronomy and science subjects. Uh, he's also best known for his combination Ethos eyepiece and coffee mug. <laughs> if you've ever seen this, this when it's empty, it fits right on your telescope. There you go, and there you go. Do you sell this as well? Uh, I have a spare one up there. Well, I will sell if you want it, but I bring two just in case I leave it around somewhere, which I do. All right, so what we're doing uh, this morning is um, motivating amateur astronomy through the Astronomical Week, and you guys all belong. If you're a Novak member, you all belong already belong, you're eligible for all these clubs and benefits of the AL that he's going to talk about today. Yep, we have your coordinator right there. He's going to talk about that portion. Okay. Great, and I've personally done three of them, and they're great. Uh, it, it's a wonderful uh, program. I love it. All right, skip. Thank you, kind sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, none of that's true. I paid him to say that, so we're okay. All right, I'm going to talk about motivating amateur astronomers. Is that what my title is? Through the AL. Oh, through the AL. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. Well, first of all, those of you who walked in early enough to notice we had some music videos, okay? That's step one. You got to get something that they want to hear. They walk by, they hear it, they're going to come in, all right? Even at your astronomy clubs, we always play one of these somewhere in the way, somewhere before, during, or after, uh, just to try and get, how's the best way to put this? The younger group, and I see one, two, three, uh, there's a young one right back there, four, there's a young one right here, five, okay. So I picked out all the young ones, and there's another one back there, number six, okay. So you notice I picked out all the youngsters, all right. And the ladies are going, why do you pick at me? Because you're all younger than we are, all right. Y'all, I'm not going to go into the graying of the astronomy club and stuff like that. We talked about that before. But my favorite cartoon, or not my favorite cartoon, is Calvin and Hobbes, but this is one of the ones I like. And it says, if people sat outside and looked at the stars each night, I bet they'd live a lot differently. Well, how so? When you look into infinity, you realize there are more things than what most people do all day. But we spend our day under looking under rocks in the creek. I mean other people. All right. So uh, one of the things I do when I'm doing uh, outreach and I'm also doing... Uh, I work with a lot of people on their observing programs through the Westminster Astronomy Club is I tell them that basically all scientists are just doing observing. They're observing. They don't take two chemicals and so they mix them together and go, uh, huh, I wonder what's, uh, well, I'm going to go to lunch. I'll be back in an hour. And they come back and the lab's all burnt down and the building's all in little pieces. And I wonder what happened. They don't, uh, well, let's, hey, let's put a lion in with a lamb and see what happens. Oh, look, it's lunchtime. I'll be right back. I'll come back and come back and the lion's missing. You know? <laughs> And so they go, I wonder what happened. No, they do observing. They basically observe everything, okay? Now, for this is all of you who are under the age of 99 and who are also observing things, you got two seconds to tell me what's unusual about me. One, two, time's up. What is it? What is it? Well, that's not unusual, but uh, you're the only guy talking. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> oh. Enthusiastic. Nope. Nope. Shoes. Huh? Shoes. Shoes. Notice my shoelaces match, but my shoes do not. Okay. <laughs> Yesterday, my shoes matched, my shoelaces did not. That's what observation means. You're looking for things. You're noticing the little subtle details when you're doing the astronomical leagues starting from the puppy up to the full-blown, I don't even know what the highest master, I guess the master observing award is the highest one, right? I don't know. Yeah, that's the same thing I said, I don't know. 
we're going right, we're gonna go through some of them and they kind of going to step up. But basically all they're all trying to do is get you to be a better observer. To pay more attention to what you're seeing, you know. To see that there are three different almost heaven hats in this room. You know, to see that this guy is wearing an Under Armour. He probably doesn't even know where Under Armour is. Where is it? Okay, see what I mean? You know, uh, that only one person is wearing the, the present day. Uh, <laughs> you look down, <laughs> almost seven t-shirt, you know. That I'm wearing that LX600 thing they were talking about the other day that was, you know, next to the RCX 400 thing. That was next. This is their greatest thing to try to do that. But this thing is like weighs 19 pounds per per chunk and there's like 19 pieces in there so it's a little heavy but again basically you're just trying to do observing so what the astronomical league does they came up with hey let's help people observe let's let's give them some steps to go through let's give them some things that they can kind of go through to see what they're going to do okay now i'm going to skip that portion of it and we're going to just jump in here okay let's see if i hit the right button this time amazing computer see that's what you guys see this is what I see okay okay what's that called presenter mode. presenter mode great I just pressed a button one day and it popped up and I know it's